Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, I uh, introduce you to the uh, to, to the workbench, to the uh, to the awesomeness that is my own laboratory. Uh, the ability to make, mine, meld, whatever you want to uh, kind of symbolism in mind of fort fact and uh, kind of go from there. Um, I bring to you uh, something that I kind of came across, that kind of, that kind of built, that I uh, that allowed myself to endeavor on. Um, it is a D&D uh, &D workbench. I may show you. This is the D&D workbench, or D&D platform, my friends. So we have Lexan. Compromise with a bit of integrity, design, manuscript, sketching, all the above. Maybe we're, gonna, maybe we're wondering what those holes are for. Uh, those holes are what control each individual section on the TV itself. Um, it was a design of my own choosing. Uh, brass plating, uh, um, standard on with uh, with steps, uh, nice uh, nice cross there. Um, but most importantly, we have the power cord, which is a nice three prong. You know, you have your 120 right there. You have your uh, uh, 120 in ground. Uh, sorry, 120 in ground neutral uh, leg right there, and then you have your HDMI cable in. Uh, edges are finished off with a nice corner piece and then a uh, bronze um, bronze plate finish which is probably around uh, half a probably around um, two or three thousandths of a uh, of an inch um, brass plate with uh, with a couple um, popper bits in it um, or or actually their their um, the brass nails uh, then we have up on top we have a strapping for uh, you know typical gun strapping, or typical gun muzzle strapping, uh, a maybe an inch wide piece of leather up on top. Oh, metal bar for four. Complete with solitary backing. Basically, what's inside this bastard is a uh, is, is a TV mounted on plates to a to a source in the very. Oh, sorry, one second. Can't get you back there yet. Mounted using machinery screws on the back end of said TV. You know, you can't really see back there yet. Perfect. Um. Machinery screws mounted, mounted backwards um, with Velcro on the back side of it so you can take boxes such as this, put them sideways, and mount them. That's pretty much how, how it goes. So you can store your dice, your pencils, your anything and everything you kind of really want back there. Uh, feet were designed by uh, somebody in Japan. I uh, can't really uh, discern the difference on that. Come on. Focus, you piece of shit. Perfect. Done. Yeah, feet were mounted uh, via three-point system. Go from there. But yeah, we're, um, this is, uh, I, I built this, I manufactured this, um, I did not. I did not do the etching. No, that's that's the only downside to it. Uh, so from here, all the way through here, was all hand drawn. That's fucking insane. I mean, hand drawn is is amazing. I mean, uh, I mean, you can literally go from from having a person, you know, just just dial the 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 footings, the uh, the the sketchings on on a saw but but to actually go in there and hand draw all this I mean this is this is really hand carving you can feel the etching in that beautiful um, through here 
is actually a uh, symmetrical line bezeled into the uh, mahogany wood. Um, it's all it's all um, uh, linseed oil uh, linseed oil um, uh, covered. Pretty much what you would consider, you know, the cat's out pretty much. Uh, same thing on this side, hand drawn by by a friend of mine. Um, all four all, all four corners are, are equal. All uh, all four corners are um, are pretty much uh, intact. Uh, very easy to cut the uh, to cut the lux down on top. Uh, the TV was about 125 bucks. Um, easy stuff, boys. Uh, you know that's kind of what I, what I mean to show you. Oh, one other thing. One other thing. Let me see. Get down here real quick. The knobs on the that side the control section are not as they seem. You have this little this little dragon, which is two of them. It's a fucking button pusher. Check that shit out. Isn't that beautiful? Stainless steel, brass fitting up on top of it. Like that. Beautiful. So and that goes in there and stays. The entire duration is it, it, it's gorgeous. Okay, so um, let me know what you think. Let me know your comments, concerns, criticisms, and uh, we can kind of go from there. All right, as always, uh, be prepared.